Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial for installing PC AVS on Windows 10 machine. We are not using their official repo. I will be linking this one, my copy, down in the description since I adjusted some of the settings and codes. So it will be easier for you to follow. Before you start, you have to check that you have an NVIDIA GPU since having a NVIDIA GPU will be way faster on some of the process compared to running on CPUs. So the very first thing that you need to check if you have is that you need Anaconda 3 prompt and you can basically get it here and here, download. And you just press 64 bit, um, don't mind the version the version doesn't matter you just get this one everything default installation i think it's pretty straightforward so you probably don't need me to cover and now we need to launch anaconda prompt after you finish installing it so go to search anaconda prompt you need anaconda prompt not powershell okay so make sure that you're on prompt and now you will need to find a folder that you want to um, install all these codes in so that would be my tutorial folder and i will want to create it here um pcavs and i want to go in this folder and then you can see my path is g tutorial pcavs now i want to download the code download the zip and then you just basically drag and drop it drag and drop it here and you just extract it here and then now you can delete the zip folder. So after you finish unzipping, you go into the folder, copy this path, and then go to your Anaconda prompt and type CD and then paste your path. And then if you're on another disk, uh, it won't show you that you have changed. So you have to um, specify your disk. So it will swap to the right disk. And now we will have to create the um, virtual environment. So you want to copy the first line here since we already done the first step. Now we just need to kind of create the environment, copy this one, paste it here. And then, all right, you can just type enter too. And then after that, you will want to use conda activate, conda activate. Yes. Um, whenever you create a virtual environment, it's re reusable. So you have to, next time you use it, after you close the prompt, you just need to conda activate the environment. And all these setup are um, only for once. The only thing that you need to redo next time, if you want to run this, is just conda activate the PC AVS, the virtual environment. So you can see that you have activated your virtual environment here when it turns from base to here. And next thing we want to install is this, is the PyTorch. And for NVIDIA 30 series, you have to use the next line since it uses different CUDA toolkit. But since we're not using an NVIDIA 30 series, I'll be using the first one. And then this might take a while. Press enter. After you're done with this step, um, just go to our next one, pip install dash r requirements.txt. Okay, after that is done, pip install lws. And next one, conda install dash c mempool fmpg. And then create a folder here, in the PC AVS Windows main called checkpoints. And you download the checkpoints. So you go here, download the checkpoints, and then you basically extract um, the file here. So we basically do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy my old file since it will be a really slow process to download it again. The file size is about um, 600 MB. So yeah, keep that in mind. So you just basically extract that and you have checkpoints and then inside checkpoints they have, you have the demo file and inside demo fi file you have, um, you have this, 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 okay. Next thing is that we go to go to um, misc. We go back to PCAVS Windows main and we go to misc, and then we want to extract these four files. So extract here, extract here, wait, extract here, extract here, and then you can delete these files if you want. And next thing, we can basically run the demo. So you just copy this whole line. It's a pretty long line of code. So I usually suggest um, you can paste it in a notepad so you can see all your settings and stuff. 
but since we're running a demo, it probably doesn't really matter. All you have to do is just paste it to run the demo. Now after it finishes, you can see the results is saved here. So you go back to your um, window. So you see in the base folder, PCAVS window dash main, you go to results and you go to this ID and you can see all the files here. Each files is, well, different of course. So this one is- um, We gotta get Pat in front of everybody. We gotta get combination Pat Combination of all four. Much this one is the result. Face, this one is, is the input totally identity. Cool this one is the driving pose be, and this one is the audio. It, you know, you and Concat, basically same thing with the audio. And you can just get the result here with G, -G, -G pose driven. And then these are all other stuff. So basically you just look for this and this. And now on to uh, preparing your own images and videos. This is the nastiest part because this is the hardest and most annoying. So you should do it if you have the time. I'll basically show you how to do this one. Make one image talk with head movements and extra mouth reference. Audio source can always be just MP3, but it can also be MP4. In this step, I'm gonna be using MP3, so I wouldn't like drag on too quick. And if you have any questions, just join my Discord since this combo is not, you know, absolute. And you'll see why. Okay, now we need to choose an input image. So it should be um, in JPG and that X should always be the name. So throughout this um, whole documentation, X refers to the input image or input video. Um, I will be showing you how to do this. So don't worry. Um, MISC, you go to MISC and you go to input. You can see a lot of different files. Yes. Now you just need drag and drop a photo, an image that you want. All right, so let's get Rick Ashley. So um, we need to create a folder name it Rick. So this name Rick will be your X here. And uh, you go to here and then you paste basically your image it here. And you have to remember you have to name it with six zeros, six zeros and type JPG. So you can see the image. Let me show you the image. Yeah, here. So six zeros and a JPG, you go back, you see this Rick, then we can go to the next step. Basically, we want to take um, our audio source. So if you do have an MP4, you just have to split split it into um, the MP4 and just uh, the MP3. You can do that with any online converter or anything, whatever you want, since that would be probably the most convenient way for you to do without digging too much hassle running codes. So you just have to go to audio source and choose the audio you want to use. Let's say I have my um, Dame music, you know? Uh, basically, I'll just delete everything else here. Just leave this Dame music. It can be in MP3 or .wav, but you just have to remember later on you have to specify the, wrong, uh, the right file type. And now you have your music in here. You can go back. And now next thing we have to do is post source, post source. So since post source are usually a video, Let's, let's delete all of these first for um, its clarity. Um, since post force um, usually is a video, so it'll be something like this. So you got the video of this without, oh my God. Yeah. So it's basically not aligned. So now what you do is to first break this video down into images. Then we had to align align all of these images. The same goes to the the previous process for input, and we just haven't aligned them yet. So we will get to that. So now just focus on, on breaking down this um, video. So we will just need to um, break down this video into images, and you can see that um, all these Z's are basically referring to name of this video. So you can go back here. Why is the audio the name of the audio? See, is the name of the post source. So you just basically copied this onto a notepad, usually because that's pretty easy, and you just rename this to the right um, file name. And before you run this code, you'll need to um, create a folder called um, Baka. There you go. And then you just copy this line of code, paste it here, and then run it, and it'll break down all the images for you. And now click inside, and you can see all these images Bravo. All right, let's go back to our um, input. So you can see that here it says um, set out input. If you input as an image, drag and drop the image inside the folder, rename the image to 0000.jpg. So this is what we did. Um, 
x is the rig and then we had six zeros here the next one is we want to align all these frames so we basically only need to copy these two and we can paste it in the notepad here so we can edit it easier since the input is called rick um we just want to change the folder name um to rick and uh, change the x to rick and then z is um baka so we just want to make it to baka and we just copy this line we input it here paste and then we copy the next one what these two lines basically does is that it aligns the faces and if uh, the faces cannot be detected um, it will show that pre-processing failed so you need to make sure that every single frame there will be um faces present and that will be much easier so you don't have to keep on redoing it so you can see that in the input we have now a rig cropped it's basically aligned and then in the in the post source um this file is being created all right, so we look in this file and you can see that everything, everything is aligned. But sometimes there will be problems when after aligned the video, these all these images when made, made into a video will be really shaky. So there will be a solution here for um, it stabilizes aligned videos. So what this basically all do is that um, it put them back into a video and then you can stabilize with this web um, app and then you just download it and split it again. So you can do that if you want to make sure that your um, video pose source is um, stabilized. Since if it's too shaky, the result will be very shaky. So now we need to go over to MISC uh, and find this, this demo.csv and you want to open it with a notepad. And you can see oh, there's a bunch of information here. So what you have to do is copy this line and then paste it here place everything replace everything and now we just need to replace the right names on the right variables so since x is rick we replace x z is um baka um so we replace baka and this z number of frames here you can find now by going into um the pose and the baka cropped you can see it starts from starts from one to um 162 so the number of frames of z is 162 so you just leave that like that why is dame since it's the audio source and then we don't have um a mouse source or a number of frames here so we can change that into none with zero so yeah these are basically if you if you read it more closely you just basically understand what these are talking about so basically the first section is um referring to the input the second section is the pose the third section is the mp3 that's it and the fourth section is the mouth source and the amount of frames and the last one just can leave dummy as it as a b since that's taken from the official demo so after you finish editing all these oh by the way yeah this is referring to one frame and this is just a single image so single image is one frame and all of these are referring to folders not the files so yeah and now you save this file and then you can just basically run the same thing here put it here press enter all right now we can check out the results at um result go back need to go back to the base folder pc avs windows main results and then sort by date and modify so it's easier to find after you have a lot and you can double click oh my God. okay the the video is um seems aligned and not too shaky so that that's a good thing if it's really shaky you should check out the process of um stabilizing the aligned video and since we don't have the mouse source um we lost one of the frames remember we have one two three four in the previous one here um this is because it has a mouse source and the input audio source is an mp4 so it contains both an, a, a video and an audio so it'll be like this we one we gotta get pat in front See? of everybody we gotta get pat in the thing and whatever so and I just think that our um, the difference, it's not that obvious. If you have a clear audio, you'll probably be fine. And the mouse source, it's not really required. And you cannot just do all oh, having mouse source and overriding the audio since this, this AI requires on the audio. I think that's about it. Yeah. 
you can see the mouth is shaking really hard since it, it takes in the background music and to generate the lip sync so it shakes it a lot so if you want to do those kind of music you probably have to find the vocal or you have to sing it yourself to get the right right lip sync or if you just want to talk over it that is absolutely fine too you'd, you'd probably be fine with that so yeah so the rest uh, yeah yeah just after this run and then you're done yeah that's about it thank you guys for watching if you like what i'm doing you can consider supporting me through my patreon if you have any questions just go over to my discord there's a tech channel i'll try to reply when i have the time and yeah thank you guys for watching